Welcome back once again to the first Descendants. Now, after the recent patch in 1.04, there has been a huge nerf to the Valby run and some of the farms. Now, what exactly is the best farm after this nerf? Now, we're going to be going in this video and checking out four of the best farms in the game right now and which one should you be doing. If this video does help you guys out, please consider dropping a like down below and subscribing for more. I am doing another giveaway for 1000 caliber. Go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will choose a winner on the next video. Let's try to get this video to 300 likes. That would be absolutely amazing. So let's start things off with the best farm at the moment. As we know it, the Valby farm has taken over. This is considered the best farm in the game. Now, before you will get around 8 to 10 million gold an hour if done very quickly. That has recently changed. So what exactly have they done to this farm? Now you get around between 12,000 Kaipa and 200,000 gold. And it can also vary between 15,000 Kaipa, 150,000 gold. You will notice that the enemies now are spawning less, which means less drops are spawning altogether. That means Kaipa, gold and overall materials are spawning less. Now, obviously, these numbers are going to be estimated. You may get more, you may get less in all these farms. So the numbers aren't always going to be 100%. So just take it with a pinch of salt. These are just estimates. Now, with the numbers I've just given you that range between 12,000 to 15,000 Kaipa and 200,000 and 190,000 gold, you're averaging around 200,000 Kaipa and around 4 to 5 million gold an hour. Obviously, that depends on the enemy spawning and also the drops that you're going to be getting. It will vary from run to run. So it is still a very, very good farm, but it is now comparing to the other farms in the game. And we're going to be going into them as well. Next up, let's talk about the Bunny Cave. This is still by far the best cave for XP. It still gives you just the same amount of XP as it did before the patch. It's not gonna change. So you're still gonna be ranking up your characters and your weapons probably the fastest way in this cave. Obviously, having a group of bunnies is gonna be absolutely amazing for this farm. You can get a weapon ranked up from about level 1 to about level 40 in half an hour to 45 minutes, depending on how fast you do it. You still get a bunch of XP here. So if you're exactly just like I said, looking for XP, this is your best bet. Now, obviously, um, you can only start this mission with a bunny, considering this is an electrical void fragment mission. So that's the only downside to this. You do need a bunny, but you should have one anyway. It's kind of guaranteed to get one once you start playing the game. So, yeah. And you also do get XP if you're going to be playing a different character. I mean, everyone here is a bunny except for that Freyna right there. So they're going to be still ranking up and ranking up their character and weapons as well. So that's not going to change. There you go. So this is still by far the best XP mission. Next up, let's go over to the Sterile Lands. This is the Kuiper Mine farming location. Now, this run is actually still pretty damn good. Obviously, this is going to be a lot better with multiple characters, considering it's a little bit of a larger area. Now, this farm, I don't really recommend it in terms of the farming locations that I'm going to be giving you. This one, I would probably give it the last spot. Let's go over the numbers real quick. Again, these are just estimates over the run that I've done, but it could also vary between person to person. So, this farm is absolutely amazing for Kuiper Shards, but the gold is still lacking a little bit in this location. Obviously, given it the Kuiper Mine name, it's going to be great for Kuiper, and it is. Within about 5 minutes, 2 minutes, arranging around that time, depending if you're with a team or solo, you'll get around 20 to 25,000 Kuiper, which will average between 250,000 Kuiper in about an hour you could get a little bit more than the Valby run. And you'll get an average between 4 million gold an hour in this run. Obviously, that can compete with the Valby run now. You used to get a bunch of gold in that one, around 8 to 10 million, but in now you get around 4 to 5 million, and you can maybe get 6 million if you're very lucky. Now, in this farm, yeah, you get around the same amount of gold, around 4 million, a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Obviously, dependent on the characters you're going to be playing and how many people that you have with you, you could do this pretty quickly. You can maybe get it done in about a minute, maybe two minutes, or maybe around five minutes if you are doing it solo. And yeah, obviously, depending on how you do it will determine the outcome of rewards and how fast you do it. 
but this is just an estimate around what you're going to be getting. Now next up, let's go over to the Rockfall Farm. Alright, now this one is in the Sterile Lands again. This one was a very, very good farm. You guys may remember it. It was basically everywhere. Now this farm is a little bit different. This is kind of the opposite way from the one in the Kuiper Mine. You're going to be getting more gold but less Kuiper Shards in this mission. So an average run for this will take you around 30 to 40 seconds and you'll get around 1500 Kuiper and around 40,000 gold in around 30 to 40 seconds and that is pretty damn good. So in an hour, you average between 200,000 Kuiper and around 4 million gold. But that could possibly be more if done faster, could be possibly a little bit less if done a little bit slower. Again, so the overall gold and copper you're going to be getting is around the same as everything else. Still, it's still an amazing shard farm and an amazing gold farm. Now, obviously, some of these missions are better with Bunny. For example, the Rockfall farm is an amazing one for Bunny. And obviously, the original Valby farm is going to be great for Valby as well. So depending on the character you're going to be using, some of these farms are just as good as they, you know, as their competitors. It just depends what character you want to use and the way that you want to farm. And lastly, we have one of the best farms in the game and the one that I highly recommend everyone to do if you really want a hardcore farm. This is the one in the Echo Swamp in this mission right here. Now, for this mission, you're going to need around maybe one or two two really good bunnies to do this farm very fast bunny is just overall great for this farm anyway now you can complete this farm in about a minute if done very quickly with a good or two very good bunnies now again 30 seconds is very fast for this farm you get around 4,000 kuiper per run and around 240,000 gold and you'll get around 40 to 50,000 gold, which will equal around 4.2 million. Now, obviously, you can increase this number heavily by just doing it even quicker and allowing you to, to bring in more bunnies and higher level characters to do this even quicker. You can probably even double that amount. Again, these are just estimates, but go ahead and try it yourself. So overall, what one do I highly recommend? Well, for chilling farming, whatever you want to do, I highly recommend still the Valby Run or even the Sterile Lands Kuiper Mine or even the Rockfall Farm. Those ones are kind of chilled out and you're getting around the same amount of Kuiper and the same amount of gold you're going to be getting from all of them. Now, if you really want to go hard farming and really push the limits, the Echo Swamp Farm is by far the best one. It could be done very quickly. You can really maximize your Kuiper and gold farming method by just doing it very quick and you can really maximize that amount and i will need to get around 4.2 million and maybe around 6 to 7 million done quickly per hour leaves it to be the best farm at the moment and to be honest with you it always has kind of been the best farm the valby one is just a very chill way of doing it you don't really have to think but the echo swamp there has to be a lot of moving around and a lot of picking up some of the items so it's really up to you However you want to play, whichever character you want to play, well, it's your choice. You're going to be getting the same amount. And that brings us to the end of the video. I know this video wasn't exactly the most exciting, but it had to be done over here on the channel, especially after the brand new nerfs that people have been talking about that we thought were going to be buffs. We had to check out exactly what's going on with these farms. So overall, to conclude the video, all the farms are more or less the exact same. It just depends what character you want to play and what farm you want to do. Again, the Echo Swamp is highly, highly just recommended by a lot of people considering the amount of drops that you do get. But yes, it does require a lot more work while the other ones you just kind of run around in a circle while picking up the drops. So yeah, it's up to you. Now the um, outposts do reset in about one minute. So take that into consideration, which the farm that you're going to be doing. And that's about it. Let me know down in the comments which one you're going to be doing. And I'll see you all very soon.